Appendix, Red and Blue Walkthrough Slash Six and One. Introduction. Turn the Game Boy on. After the intro, press A or start on the title screen and you'll see the main menu. You should be able to select from New Game an option. You may have continue as a selection. This is if you have already started and saved a game on this cartridge. Moving the cursor to the option and pressing A will show three topics. You don't need to touch them, but it's a good idea to put the text speed to fast. Go down to Cancel and press A and you'll be back on the main menu. Select New Game and press A. Professor Oak appears. He briefly introduces the world of Pokemon and the Pokemon themselves. Then he asks for your name. Game. Red. Default names. Red. Ash. Jack. Game. Blue. Default names. Blue. Gary. John. If you don't any, want any of the preset names, go to new name and go to new name and press A. Here it's a simple case of moving around to the letter that you want and pressing A to select it. To remove the last letter, press B. Once you're done entering your name, select end in the bottom right corner or press start. This stumped a lot of people when the game was first released. Now you are introduced to your rival. Choose his name in the same way and you'll be teleported off to your bedroom in Palatine. Home. The game begins in your bedroom with you standing in front of your SNES. First of all, here's a recap of the controls. Button plus control pad, D pad slash arrows. Moves the character, effects, moves the character, moves the cursor in a menu. Button, A button. Effects, talk to people, push buttons, examine things. Button, B button. Effects, cancel selection, exit a menu. Button, start. Effects, opens the menu. The PC in this corner is your item storage system. Your backpack can only hold 20 different items, while the PC can hold up to 50. Deposit item and withdraw items are self item are self-explanatory, and toss item lets you get rid of an item permanently. The PC already has a potion, so select withdraw item and choose potion times one. Press the B button to close the menus and return to your room. Bedroom. To save the game, press start. Select save and then yes. When the menu disappears, your progress is saved. You could turn off the Game Boy and start from this point at a later time. To go downstairs, step on the stairs in the top right corner of the room. Mom is sitting at the table and tells you that Professor Oak has been looking for you. To leave the building, step on the mat along the south wall and press down on the plus control pad. Welcome to Palatine. Items. Show. Item. Potion. Location. Retrievable from the player PC in the player's room. Games, red and blue. Palatine. Palatine is a rather boring, quaint town with only three houses. The house is to the west to the west is yours, the one to the east is your rival's house, and the big building to the south is Professor Oak's lab. You can walk all around town and talk to everyone, but Oak is nowhere to be found. Looks like there's nothing else to do but leave town, so walk into t- the tall grass to the north of town. Uh, from out of nowhere, Oak appears. He yells at you for trying to leave by yourself without a Pokemon of your own defense against the wild Pokemon roaming around. He drags you back to the lab and lets you choose your very first Pokemon. Each one has its advantages and disadvantages, and some are more challenging to raise than others. Bulbasaur, Grass Poison. Ivysaur, Grass Poison. Venusaur, Grass Poison. Charmander, Fire. Charmeleon, Fire. Charizard, Fire Flying. Squirtle, Water. War Turtle, Water. Blastoise, Water. Bulbasaur can easily defeat the Pokemon in the Pewter, Cerulean, and Viridian gyms, and resists the Pokemon in the Vermilion and Celadon gyms. It is also unaffected by the poison status ailment. It may have trouble with the Saffron and Cinnabar gyms, though, being strong against the first two gyms, particularly Misty's, and access to the powerful Razor Leaf and Sleep Powder makes it a strong choice, although it is limited in power until it learns Razor Leaf and struggles mightily against your rival starter. Charmander will be at a disadvantage in the first two gyms and its only advantage against the Celadon gym. Its final evolution, Charizard, is the most versatile fire type and has great stats, but a poor typing and a plethora of weaknesses makes it difficult to use. Thus, it will not usually have a type advantage in battle, and despite its flying type, it cannot learn any flying type moves. 
Squirtle can defeat the pewter, cinnabar, and viridian gems without much effort. It is a solid starter, probably as good of a choice as Venusaur, with only two weaknesses. Unfortunately, a limited move pull doesn't give Squirtle much type coverage, and it faces competition from the 15 other water type Pokemon, some which are far more versatile and powerful. Once you have chosen a Pokemon, it's your rival's turn. He will to always choose the Pokemon with an advantage against yours. When you turn to leave, he will challenge you to your first battle. If the player chose Bulbasaur, Blue, Professor Oak's Laboratory, Red, Green and Blue, Reward 175, Pokemon 1, Charmander Level 5, Type Fire, Moves, Scratch, Normal, Growl, Normal, Blue, Professor Oak's Laboratory, Red, Green and Blue, Reward 175, 1 Pokemon, Squirtle Level 5, Type Water, Tackle, Normal, Tail Whip, Normal, Blue, Professor Oak's Laboratory, Red, Green, and Blue, Reward 175, Pokemon 1, Bulbasaur Level 5, Types, Grass Poison, Tackle, Normal, Growl, Normal. When battling, you'll each send out your Pokemon. They are level 5, which is shown by the L5 beside each Pokemon. Under that is the health bar, showing each Pokemon's remaining HP. You win a battle when you take all of your opponent's Pokemon down to 0 HP. You will lose the battle if all of your Pokemon reach 0 HP. Choosing Fight will allow you to choose an attack to use against your opponent. Your Pokemon will have two attacks regardless of who you choose. The first will damage the opponent and the other one will lower one of the opponent's stats. Lower your opponent's defense or attack with the status move first, then keep using the attacking one, either tackle or scratch. If your Pokemon starts to lose a lot of HP, you could use that potion we got out of the PC earlier. Go to the item and bring it, and it will bring up a list of the items you're holding. You only have a potion, so select it and then select your Pokemon. This is the same way you use the item menu outside of battle. Once you've defeated your rival, you will get 175 Poke, poke coins and he will leave. If you in the battle, your Pokemon will gain enough experience to grow to level 6. Leave Oak's Lab and head north to reach Route 1.